I don't think we have a problem. The Hill Country District Attorney on the defense. Sam Oatman denies that unusually high turnover is to blame for long delays in the courtroom. But a home invasion victim disagrees and walks us through her drawn-out process. All new at 6, KXAN investigates delayed justice in the Central Texas Hill Country. And tonight, investigator Aaron Cargile takes the charges directly to the DA. Aaron. Leslie and Robert, public records reveal a revolving door in District Attorney Sam Oatman's office over the last two years. Seven prosecutors have come and gone among a total staff of six. They've lasted anywhere from two to 20 months. The average was about eight. Oatman says it is not slowing down justice, but one victim tells a much different story. On St. Patrick's Day weekend 2008, three men broke into this Marble Falls home. I woke up to a man that pounced on my hand, threw something over my head and my mouth. They threatened to rape Catherine Adair, then put her in a closet with her dog, wrapped them together with duct tape, and robbed her. Once the suspects were caught, she knew a conviction would take time. I never dreamed it would be this long. The first trial for ringleader Joseph Bishop ended with a hung jury in the fall of 2009. Of course the jury came back hung. They didn't even know what I knew. And uh, I was, I, you know, that's inexcusable. Catherine's pair of prosecutors failed to show the jury surveillance video of the men using her stolen credit cards and video of Bishop's police interrogation. I'm responsible for everything that goes on in the office, but I wasn't aware of this evidence either. After that, Catherine says she dealt with another pair of prosecutors. <laughs> then, Oatman assigned Cheryl Nelson to the case, prosecutor number five, according to Catherine, who convinced the jury to put Bishop away for life last May. But it wasn't over. This September, two and a half years after that dreadful night, Catherine sat in a Burnett County courtroom as the judge handed down hefty prison time for her two final attackers. This grandmother wants to know where the ball was dropped. It is my mission to try and find out for this community. District Attorney Sam Oatman doesn't believe staffing issues are hurting cases. We're talking about regular staff work that is a problem right now. It's not the trying of cases. He's still trying to fill two prosecutor positions. In the meantime, he's called in the Attorney General's office to handle some of the child abuse cases piling up. We could put a lot of judicial power to it and, and move the cases, but it takes lawyers uh, in court to take care of things. Drawn out cases means more tax dollars to keep suspects behind bars. Take Hillary Matthew Stillman, for example. He's been in the Llano County Jail about a year, accused of shooting and killing his sister-in-law. A year ago, Oatman told the local paper, hopefully the trial will be in the next six months. It's been reset three times and replaced once with a child abuse case. If it finally goes forward at the end of January, taxpayers will have spent an extra $8,200 to keep Stillman in jail after his first trial date. You have to balance which case goes first. We felt like the other case was more significant to go first for different reasons. We don't let cases just sit there so it'll drain the taxpayers' money. I think for the most part, we're doing about as good as any other DA's office in the state of Texas. But some in the law enforcement community disagree. Former prosecutors and numerous law enforcement officials refused to provide any comments for our story. But one source did comment, but insisted on anonymity for fear of upsetting Oatman and further delaying prosecuting criminal cases. One source told us the process is far too slow and often so ineffective, it does not provide a real deterrent to the criminal element. I don't really appreciate appreciate an anonymous accusation made uh, without somebody coming forward because give us a right to explain it or correct it, not throw something out there uh, that's, that uh, we have to defend openly, which I don't mind doing. And Oatman says he plans on having a full staff soon. Visiting judges will be called in to help move cases forward. We'll check back to see if that happens. And right now on KXAN.com, we've got more of Oatman's interview. Just click on this story. And if there's a case you want us to look into, email us at investigates at KXAN.com or use our new Report It phone app. Reporting live, Aaron Cargile, KXAN, Austin News. Aaron.